It is the immense suffering in Syria that's driving the desperate search for a political solution, also a fear that the civil war will spread violence throughout the region. But before the peace talks even began, they threatened to unravel here at the UN. Let me say uh, just a few words uh, on the situation around the talks on uh, Syria. The Secretary General made an appeal to put the people of Syria first, but it was his decision to invite Iran to the conference that dominated discussions. While the West is ready to engage with Iran on its nuclear program, Syria is another story. Tehran is strongly backing the regime in Damascus. My government has been working closely with So the Americans and others demanded it clearly accept the goal of the peace conference, the creation of a transitional Syrian government. Ban Ki-moon thought he got that in private, but withdrew the invitation when he didn't get it in public. The Syrian opposition, which had threatened to boycott over Iran, welcomed the move. The national coalition also would like to confirm uh, its attendance to uh, Geneva II conference and its participation in it, full participation, uh, in order to establish uh, the uh, transitional governing body with full executive uh, power over all uh, state uh, institutions. That's not the agenda of Syria's president, Bashar al-Assad, shown here meeting a delegation of Christian clergymen. He says he won't share power with his opponents, and he wants to shift the focus away from politics. <laughs> The logical thing that we've been talking about continuously is that the Geneva Conference comes out with clear results in relation to combating terrorism in Syria, especially in terms of pressurizing the countries that export terror to Syria, sending terrorists and money to terrorist organizations and sending arms. The rebels also want to keep on fighting. Opposition leaders have little, if any, influence on the nationalists and none on the powerful Islamist militias. So expectations of the conference are low, maybe increased access for humanitarian aid. But given the stalemate, outside pressure will be crucial to forging any political solution from patrons of both the rebels and the regime. Barbara Platt-Usher, BBC News, Washington.